My name is Noel Winter and this is a client discussion completed on the 2nd of September 2022. Jamal, welcome. Thank you. Um, so we're going to be going over your APSS stage one, stage two forms, uh, as well as your PFP, um, uh, personal, uh, name it, personal, Profile potentially where you gave all of your personal information. Um, so, Jamal Johnson. So, um, just sort of stage one was just uh, your first six questions were based on sort of your medical history. Yep. Um, just to give us uh, an idea of uh, how high risk you are as a client. Um, so, it kind of sounds bad, but essentially so tick no for all questions one to six um, based on and never suffered a stroke or heart condition never had unexplained chest pain never felt dizzy uh, never had an asthma attack uh, don't have type 1 or type 2 diabetes that was uh, had trouble controlling and you didn't have any other conditions that may require special consideration for that all that's correct okay cool so that Put you in the low risk category for us, um, which is good, which means you don't need a referral based on that. Okay. Um, question seven, you said that you do sort of three light sessions a week at about 60 minutes. Yes. So. Uh, moving on to stage two, uh, your age and being a male, uh, just your age being a male, you are increased risk. Uh, any males over 45 uh, okay. put you in a slightly higher risk category for us. Okay. Um, what else? That was the other thing that was really wrong with it. Wrong. Um, with the stage two, uh, just double check. You had no family history of heart disease. You didn't smoke, and you're not currently smoking. No. Uh, your, uh, your BMI was. I think it was 20. 9.7 says you so uh, that's slightly uh, yeah that's uh, what we'd call slightly over um, it's in the in between it's the higher end of overweight right sort of like almost nearly the lower end of obese okay um, again that puts you in that slightly high risk category mm -hmm. just based on your BMI even though it's a slightly flawed method of measuring your health um, yep. and it doesn't have flaws as does everything um, and your waist to hip ratio was uh, was fine that was under the uh, was 0 0.87 which is in the healthy range um, no, no question 12 no uh, it's no to high blood pressure mm -hmm. And you said no to medica medication for that one, obviously you don't have it. Uh, it's no to having high cholesterol, and you also it's no for taking medication that you don't have it. Same thing for question 14, you have high blood sugar levels. Uh, question 15, you also answered no for taking prescribed medication for any conditions. Yep. Uh, 16, you answered no as well for. We spent time in hospital in the last 12 months and uh, I'd expect you to answer no for this one. Are you pregnant? No, uh, definitely, not. definitely not. Uh, do you have any type of nerve muscle bone pains? No, no, you said no for that one as well. So um, most of that's pretty good. Obviously that BMI is between the BMI and putting you and the age is yes. going to put you at moderate risk. Okay. Um, not at high risk, but moderate risk. The age one you can't really, mm. you, you can't stop time. Yep. But uh, the, the BMI, more well, that's what we're here to work on. So, uh, and you don't need a referral based on any of that uh, under my visions. Anyway, so um, we'll just double check your contact details. Details are correct. So uh, you've got 01 Brisbane Street, Brisbane, in Queensland. Yep. Uh, postal code three two uh, three one two seven. Uh, your contact number is 0401 101 001. 
That's correct, yes. Uh, and then your email is jimmeroldjohnson at email.com.au. Mm -hmm. uh, your emergency contact is Julie Johnson with the phone number of 0402 200020. Yep. Um, and then uh, next one here is your APSS results, which is what we just went over. So you've got your stage one, which is the low risk, your stage two, which is moderate risk. Um, you've agreed that you gave all the correct information there. So in terms of your health and fitness goals, uh, you've said here that you wanted to lose 10 kilos, or five to 10 kilos. Five to 10 kilos, yeah. Uh, where we're gonna measure that's through your scales and your girth measurements. Um, yes, it's achievable uh, by averaging about 0 0.8 kilos per week weight loss. Uh, realistic, yes, and um, time, time span is three months. That's all correct? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Um, so the one thing you need to be successful is motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, so you need no barriers to prevent you from success. You're not currently exercising. Um, says here. Uh, it says here you're not currently exercising, although in the APSS stage one you said that you were doing so three three, months, three hours, yeah. Three month session yeah. a week. Yeah, okay. We'll fix that one up then. So you have three sessions per week for uh, three sessions per week for sixty minutes. Yep. Okay. Um, easy intensity. Uh, obviously, you have. We answered this one before. You haven't been pregnant recently, or at least recently. Uh, but yeah, you don't take any medication there, so that's no, good. I've gone through all that. Um, you're not currently under the guidance of any health professionals or other allied health professionals, so mm -hmm. like a, um, apart from a GP, no. obviously. Um, yeah. uh, occupational therapist, no. OCFS, physiotherapist, any of those? No, no. sorry. Uh, a lifestyle's tick sedentary, active lifestyle, uh, activity in your day pretty sedentary. Uh, sleep you take seven hours. Uh, I'm guessing that's due to uh, sort of work commitments. Uh, yeah, up early. early. I up just early. tend not to go to bed yeah. till late. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it could be something we need to work on. Um, getting that sort of seven to nine hours and off, off and on recovery uh, okay. could, could help. Um, what else we got? In the past month, you said you sort of once or twice felt physically restricted by your health. And then you also answered the same for how often you've been emotionally affected by your health. Uh, so you said that you required diet, uh, take that your diet, food, your diet requires a number of changes and you're not sure where to start. So um, would you be interested in nutritional consultation for that one? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. okay, we'll go over that. Uh, and next we'll go <coughs> another plan to go over that. So, Huh? Just um, Mondays, the morning, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Saturday was your availability. Yep. You got free weights and machines. That's pretty, all pretty basic. You said you played rugby to, to your early 20s and doing weight resistance training, so you could even incorporate some old rugby techniques in there as well. Okay. So, you know, Chucking some, you know, I've been talking to a, a, a uh, someone who sort of specialises in rugby with the maybe chucking a few bits and pieces there to uh, okay. something you're used to. Yep. Um, sort of including, particularly in that sort of um, in, in a cardio based activity as well, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it's something we could, we could always work on. Um, so you, let me just go back to what else I've got for this video. Yeah, it just looks like you're completely, you know, you're not talking to me, you're sitting over looking at the computer. Oh, no, no. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, so the, no need for referrals based on any of that, because I'll go over the healthy eating. Um, we'll do the, what's, what's the actual name? Di dietary habits question, and that's what we'll go over next. Um, Video already up. So, we'll go with the dietary habits questionnaire next, yep. um, based on the fact that you required some type of help with your diet. Um, yep. Other than that, that's all pretty good. We can start. We can get started pretty much straight away. So okay. I can write up a program 
and you get started pretty damn quick. So that'd be good. Are you happy with all the information you've given so far? Yes, I am. All right, cool. Well, I'll go we'll move on to the next uh, part and go from there. Okay. And I'll just edit this bit out.